Yep, guys, Craig here, Sabre UK on the forum. Um, here's the finished Shaun the Sheep bio. I'll just do a quick um, overview of it. It's it's long overdue. I should have done this months ago uh, when I actually finished it. But here we go. So it's the Airfix kit, straight out of the box. Um, everything that you see on here by the grass, you get in the box. So you get the three um, naughty pigs, Bitsa, the baby. And inside there, in the actual Land Rover, you've got Sean himself. Trying to do whatever he's doing. Um, with the Airfix kit, I found this to be actually quite a good kit. Everything fits pretty nicely. Um, down to the piggies, that just needed a little bit of um, filling to fill in the gaps down the sides. Um, and that's that's pretty much the kit. Everything was painted with Vallejo um, paints. So Vallejo light blue, um, Vallejo matte black, uh, gloss white. Um, the pink is a bit of a mixture um, that I had to make it myself. Uh, yellow for the for bits and all that sort of stuff. Um, the grass on the bottom down here is Summer Meadow, which come from Hong Kong. It's zero zero gauge for railways. And I thought it looked pretty good to go with the Land Rover because it's got the, the little flowery sort of thing going on. So like as it, as it says on the box, Summer Meadows. Um, as you can see, I've got two switches on the front. I've added lights to the actual Land Rover itself, but I'll show you that shortly. Um, with the Land Rover itself though, as you can see, it's been fully weathered up. Uh, mud splatters, which is various shades of brown from Vallejo. And all I simply did was put the paint on the end of the brush and then airbrushed it so it got the splatter effect along the side. Um, everything on the actual Land Rover opens and closes, so, oops. Opens and closes, the doors and that. Oh, trying to do that one-handed. So the doors open and close, um, as per the instructions. And I'm not going to get that open again now. Um, same with the tailgate on the back. Uh, tailgate opens and closes. And if I take the piggies out, in the back there, it's been fully weathered up. Uh, it's got loads of pigments and stuff in there to simulate mud and grime and dirt as if it's been on a farmyard. Um, on the roof there, it's all sort of like grime, um, winter grime, stuff like that. Pigments that have been watered down into sort of like a wash, which has dried into all the little nooks and crannies. That's pretty much the weathering process on there. Um, with the lights then, in the headlights and the side lights, it's got 3mm white LEDs. The only thing I did make a mistake on, because of the type of Land Rover it is, because it's LED headlights, I've used the wrong colour. I've used super brights instead of warm white. <coughs> um, so we'll take it as the Land Rover's had a bit of a light bulb upgrade. It's got flashing indicators front and rear. Um, and on the back, again, it's got flashing indicators and the side lights and brake lights that come on. Okay. Um, because the kit had it, it's got working steering. Oops, it's got working steering on there. However, because it's all bolted down to the actual grass um, through the rear axle, um, it, there's no point. Okay. So when it comes to the lighting, then the first switch, this one, puts on the indicators. So as you can see, we've got working hazard lights on the front, and then on the back, we've got working hazard lights at the back okay the second switch does the headlights and the side lights a little bit bright there um, so you've got the headlights and the side lights on the go and then on the back we've got the working brake lights um, side lights that's looking a little bit white on the the um, camera because of the, the brightness of the LED but they're both the same colour same sort of red as that Okay, and with all um, both switches on, that's the effect that we've got. Oops, if the plug stayed in, it's my bad, I'm twisting it like that. Same on the front, we've got the working indicators. Um, again, you can't really see them because of the brightness of the LEDs. Um, but they're there, they're, they're flashing away. There you go, that's probably a better better view of them going. So that's pretty much the show on the Sheep Dion. Um not much else to say about it really, um, so if you've got any questions about it or you'd like to know I've done something on it, this gear's a shout and I'll answer you as best as I can. Um, 
I hope you enjoy the, the little diode. Thanks for watching.